In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a multi-layer bar graph showing the African population distribution for the years 2010 versus 2050. I'll begin by highlighting the male column in the first sheet in the book and creating a bar plot. Let's repeat that for the female column. Now I need to modify these graphs a bit further. Let's start with the male graph. I'm going to double click on the x-axis and I'm going to swap the from and to values. Hit the tab key, change that. I then want to hide or turn off the grid lines. So if I go to the grid lines tab, horizontal, I can uncheck that. And in fact, I can turn off the grid lines for the graph of the female data too by checking this checkbox and then saying all windows. And if I hit apply, the grid lines are gone for both. So that saves me a step when I go to customize the graph of the female data. Now I want to turn off the title and format. If I go to this tab, the left selection, uncheck this and apply that. And then we can go ahead and hit OK. For this graph here, uh, I think we're all set. Uh, the only thing we can do, we can double click on the x-axis and we can just adjust the values here slightly. Okay, so let's position these off to the side. Let's go to the second sheet of data in the book and let's create a plot of the male data and repeat that for the female data. Now for the male data, we go back. The other thing we wanted to do was adjust the color. So if I click on the bars, I can use the style toolbar to change the color. Now I have this graph formatted exactly the way I want. So if I simply right click so that I'm not selecting any particular graph element because I want to copy the format for the entire page. It's cut off on the recording, but what you want to click on is all. So copy format all come over here to this graph and do a paste format. Now we can repeat those steps for our original female graph here. So I can right click and say copy format all and then go over to this graph here, right click and choose paste format. So now we have the graphs the way we would like them. There is one other thing we can do, and that is to turn off the left y-axis here too. So if I double click on that and I go to title and format, we can actually uncheck that checkbox. And we're not going to need the tick labels either because they're the same from the male graph. So let's turn that off as well. And let's repeat that then. So I right click, say copy format, all, come over here, right click, and do a paste format. All right, so now we have the graphs, we would like them. We can then merge these four graphs into one by selecting graph, merge graph windows. In the dialog that opens, it will pick up all of the graphs in my active folder that are open. I can change this to specified. Let's adjust the size here so we can see the preview. Specified will let you click this little button here and you can reorder them if needed. You can do a drag and drop here. But they're positioned where we would like them. We then want them in the same arrangement two by two. Let's unlink them. We don't need to link them in terms of their position on the page. We do want to set the horizontal gap to zero and let's increase the vertical gap by 15. And then hit OK.
and we have our graph. If we wanted to add the layer titles, we can do that for each layer. Click to select, you right click and you say add modify layer title. So this was the data for 2010. And this was also the data for 2010. This was for 2050. And again for 2050. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.